On Business Equity and Opportunities, every week we talk about actually running your business day to day. Dr. Christopher Williams is a military veteran who has served in leadership positions with the private sector, the state, and currently Eskenazi Health. We turn to him for insight into the sometimes rocky transition from the military to the business world. This is Business Equity and Opportunities, running your business day to day. My background in the military, I retired from the military after 21, ser- uh, 21 years of services. I've been deployed three times, and I served most of my time in the, uh, in the, in the active Indiana Army National Guard. Service members transitioning to civilian life is kind of difficult. Uh, a service member brings with them uh, a lot of leadership experience, a lot of uh, talent in that area. However, there's this huge civilian gap. So when you find yourself looking for opportunities on the outside, there's that disconnect. You all have a lot of employers that are very excited about having someone that has the uh, the background of the military and that leadership experience, not having to worry about they're going to show up on time because that's embedded in you, not worrying about if you're going to do the uh, ethical, right ethical thing. The issue is not understanding all the different um, education series that you would have gotten if you were uh, coming through that company or a similar company. There's a lot of programs out there that will help companies bring in veterans into the organization. Specifically for Eskenazi, they have started what's called a ERG for veterans. So they have a group specialized for veterans and also uh, individuals that support veterans. So it's not just veteran related, it's anyone that wants to be a part of that community. I will say that um, when you leave an organization that has um, has you uh, ingrained in training, you leave the organization thinking that you can take those set of skills and be able to set that puzzle piece into another puzzle board. Well, that doesn't work, right? So, um, so sometimes we come to the real, realization that we have to take a step back and learn some of those uh, tactics and techniques that we didn't uh, we didn't know as a as a civilian. Not, I would say 90% of the the, um, the jobs, unless you're um, technical, like if you're a, a, a certified on the uh, on the outside as well as inside like if you're a medical doctor or HVAC technician or something like that you're going to have uh, to take a step back and, and build those skills up to fulfill that area of expertise for links and more information head to the show.com the QR code up right now will take you directly